in this video, I want to show you how to use Intuit Accelerate to scheduling meetings faster, filtering leads, getting proposals out the door and closing the deals. The interface is super easy to use and I don't want to skip any steps. I'm going to show you exactly how I use it which button to click so you know that it's in some ways even more intuitive than Zoom. You don't have to be technical at all. This way, as a small business owner, you can get more done in a single app. Check it out. Intuit's research shows that on average, it saves you 30% of your time converting leads. Intuit Accelerate helps you to zero in on what's most important to your business. I'm so excited to bring this all-in-one app to our small business and creative entrepreneurs community. To get started with Intuit Accelerate, beta is completely free. You just need to sign in with your Google account like so. If you don't have a Google account, you can simply create one. Now, let's move on to next steps. Once you get in like the way I did, now you can see on the left hand side, you have home, you have your clients, your meeting room sessions, and something called virtual front door, which I'm going to show you in a second. By the way, you're able to invite clients to enter their contact information while you're in the meeting, but you can also sign in using Google, which is primarily what I use for all my business needs. And you can tag your clients to your meetings and sync with your Google contacts as well. Next is meeting room. And this is primarily what we're going to focus on for this tutorial video today. And you have the option to basically join a video room or you can start an instant meeting. You can also add a room like so. As you can see, easily add another room and you have a unique link. You can use it for different purposes. For instance, for me, I can have one for general consulting, one for face world podcast. My schedule isn't that busy, so I don't really need a ton of video rooms. However, imagine that if you're sharing this account, if you run a small business with different users, this could come in handy. Next here is sessions. Now it shows all the sessions that I've participated. I have hosted. You will also notice that in addition to the meeting here, you can see the details, but you can also export and download the PDF, which is your meeting notes. Last but not least is the virtual front door. I can copy the link for you to see exactly what it looks like. It is so simple. It's not meant to be fancy, but here on this virtual front door, you're able to include this link across your social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. And when people arrive here, they're able to see just a short list of all your services. Depending on the nature of your business, you may actually have different durations and different ways for people to engage with you. So once people select that, all they have to do is click on next. And now they have the option to basically get a call back or they can schedule a meeting. As I mentioned before, what I want to show you is basically the video room. Once you click on the video room, it immediately connects and recognize your video. I'm going to show you inside how to kind of switch between the different cameras you may want to use. And this is really helpful because I also have ring lights in my room. If I feel like I appear too dark, I can actually adjust the way I look um, before I enter the room. So clearly I'm face world. I'm the host. I'm going to join as a host. If my clients were prospects, get this link. What they will see is that they will know how to join as client. You can see that uh, Intuit Accelerate already took this into consideration. So client is the primary button. It's something that people will not miss. Now it takes just a minute. If you are seeing like what I'm seeing here without a video, don't panic. You can click on this little video icon and make sure that your camera is not blocked. And this is how you can fix that. You want to make sure that you continue to allow Intuit Accelerate to access your microphone and your camera. So you may be wondering, how do I switch between cameras? Now, this is a little funky little uh, section here. What you want to click on is this button right here. It's called the flip camera. So, I flip camera once, there I am. So I'm currently using my Logitech Brio camera. So this is my camera of choice for all my meetings. So as you can see here, now I have Zoom on the right and I have Intuit Accelerator on the left. As you can see, if I'm comparing the camera and how the signals are being picked up, it's actually pretty consistent. Now the biggest struggle people have with Zoom is about payment collection, contact information. You have to rely on third party apps, sometimes it does or it doesn't work and you need to be an admin in order to install those apps. Now I want to show you being very focused on Accelerate 
and show you the features that it has. And I personally think this type of videos is so helpful because when you're first exposed to this type of uh, software, you're often asking yourself, is it going to work? I'm so used to Zoom now, how easy it is for me to pick up something brand new. And I'm here to show you that it's actually really simple. So let's take a look at the bottom row here where I'm looking at, I have the mute button, I have video on off like so. And I have my audio settings here. I'm able to choose and select the microphone that I want to use as well as audio output. Let's see, close it out. The flip camera we already talked about at the beginning. And we also have share screen. So let me click on that. This part is actually very similar to Zoom. I can share my entire screen or I can share a particular window or I can share a specific tab from within my Chrome browser. Lastly is that I can end the call, which is called close. From here, upper right hand corner, I have the blue button called invite guest. Now I can copy a link. I can grab a URL. I can send it as a text message or an email. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. This is an email. I really like the fact that it's so fast and the subject line already includes join me now on a live video. I can send it out super simple. Same thing with text message. It says, Hey, open messages. I can change the buddy name to someone I know. And so now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I call in on my mobile phone. And I also need to let my mobile phone, as you can imagine, to agree to have access to my microphone, my camera. I'm going to say allow here. I'm going to join as client. So there you go. I am connecting on my phone. And they're going to create a bit of an echo simply because I'm so close to my computer and my audio device here. If you want to switch the view between yourself and your client, you can just click on this little thumbnail upper right hand corner here. See, expand or shrink your window. This is a button for it. And now the critical feature that zoom does not have built in is this transcription feature. So it's this red button that says record the meeting. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see right now, it says transcribing record is on. All right. I'm just muted myself. So I want to show you exactly what the transcription looks like. Now you can also tell that, uh, the transcription is differentiated between the guest versus yourself. This is Faye talking from the host side. I am so thrilled. I'm getting to share this feature with you. I think what's so incredible about this feature is that it allows you to uh, pick out the most important bits. It could be questions, next steps, or a particular topic. So if I'm here pretending to be talking about a website or about my YouTube strategy service, will sound something like this. Hello, Adam. I'm so glad we're on the call together and I would love to hear about your thoughts and ideas on your YouTube channel. When did you start your YouTube channel? What do you like or dislike about it? What is that about the production process or the process in general that you're struggling with? I would love to figure that out and see what phase world media can do to help you. So as you can see the translation and transcription is so ongoing. So I'm going to just change my audio back to internal built in. Now, now you can see that their action items is in red. I said important bits. So to find that, I just have to scroll that. Uh, it will be obviously really helpful for, um, these capsules and highlights to jump directly to the section, um, that is currently not available yet. So there's host side so that you get the idea at any point at the beginning, middle, or the end of the conversation, you can easily turn off the transcription by click on this pause button and you can turn it back on anytime you want. So let's see guest is recording for their phone and wants to see how accurate the transcription is. They're on a call phase explaining how the transcription part of the call works because the conversation is so short. So it is really, I think it's still depending on the context and the content of your meeting. Last, let's take a look at the stats. So it's interesting. Once again, as I mentioned, I was talking, but I didn't point to my um, correct audio microphone because I'm also doing a screen recording, but you will not be facing the issue. if You're not trying to record a YouTube video. You will see also how much face talking versus how much the guest is talking. That could be kind of interesting because Hey guys, one quick tip here. If you're conducting a sales call, you really want to make sure that, um, you get as much information as you can from the guest or from the client or the prospect. You want to make sure actually you are not doing most of the talking, which is the number one mistake that a lot of uh, small businesses actually make. So with that said, let's take a look at the 
the payment option. This payment option is very unique to Accelerate, which I really love. This could be very useful if you're running a small business and you're trying to sell parts or trying to ship something to the client, but you have to then create a separate invoice for them. You can't really collect payments very easily. In this case, you can request a very specific amount. You can input the description. And if you're already using QuickBooks, you can just put your payment handle there. If not, PayPal uh, is definitely one of the options. I mentioned this in a previous video. I do see that as Accelerate becomes more popular, more broadly used, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, Intuit is going to introduce other payment options. But for now, if you're based in North America, this is probably pretty easy. Okay, guys, you just noticed that when you start the meeting as a host and you try to enter the payment options, $5, something cool. Well, there's no one to send it to. There's no button. So I have to join, pretend to be a client. You know, something that would be really cool to set up or for Accelerate uh, development team to consider is allowing us as small business owners to set up some of these payment requests ahead of time. So that if I know that I'm sending certain tools, certain services for, for a confirmed amount of money, it will be much easier if I can have these payment options already pre-configured, right? Now you'll notice when you log in, you will see upper right-hand corner, there's a little icon. Once you click on that, look at the bar towards the bottom, you have access to everything, including payments right there. So click on that and this is where you can submit payments to the host. It's super easy, right? The ability to not have to follow up an invoice and then send it to the wrong address. You have the client right there with you. So if you need something, you can simply request it. Now, same thing with customer information. So now I have something that I want the client to enter. Um, this is the basic information, but not all fields are required, right? So here I can click on request. I am going to enter all that good information including my email. See, everything is done in real time. Customer information is there. I have my download option to export. Everything has happened recorded as a PDF or I can export to Google Doc. And now if we both end the meeting, guess what happens? The meeting is ended. I got this button says return to the meeting hub. So now I'm back to the session and I am going to look at this very last one, which only lasted a couple of minutes and I can give it a meeting title. Uh, I can down, I can view the details right here. I can download the PDF of this meeting. So once you enter Accelerate for the first time, you notice that you have a homepage. Now this is something actually pretty special. Instead of thinking about setting up a website and doing all of that, what Accelerate allows you to do is that you can set up a virtual front door and it takes only five minutes to set it up. Here is a demo. So I'm going to pause here. As you can see, the process is business information, business hour service questions and integration. So if you want to integrate this form or your virtual front door to your website somewhere, that will also work. You can also sync your Google calendar. That makes sense. I mean, I use Google calendar and Google products basically religiously for all my business needs. And here I can sync it up. I can choose which calendar I connect uh, my vir accelerate virtual gateway with, and this way to ensure that uh, clients can actually book meetings with me when I'm free, as opposed to when, when I'm actually on the road. And lastly is my virtual fund door, which I have not set up yet. Once, Once I, I enter, enter my business hours, what I can do is apply to, oh, the other days. So there's something called connect with clients in real time. Get notified right away when a client wants to meet you. Data shows that immediate response to customer inquiries increases your chance of winning their business. Calendar is synced up. See right here. Now let's create the link. Wow. It's really, really simple. Let me take a look at what this page looks like. Now, guys, if you don't want to share your cell phone number, what you can also do here is get a Google number. And from here I can choose service. And here it says, Hey, get a call back. The business will give you a call back by phone once they're available. Or here I can also schedule time. Now the difference is with a call back, that's when I can get text, right? So let's take a look at this. Thank you. You're all set. Please refer to business hours at the top of the page. Expect a callback from face world media and boom on my text message right now. I just got it. So I'm going to take a screenshot so you guys get to see what it looks like. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and even better share it with a friend or a colleague to help them grow their businesses.